So it would appear that all the details for part two of the Dokkan thank you celebration on Global has come out now. So why don't we take a quick look at what we have in store for us. Here we go. Thank you for your continuous support. Various celebrating events will be available during the Dokkan thank you celebration. Nothing new there. New Dokkan event, story event, and Extreme Z battle will be available during the event period. Perfect. New SSR, super full power Saiyan for Goku. Okay, that makes no sense to me. Why is it not full power super Saiyan for Goku? Why is the super before the Saiyan? Why is it not? Okay, whatever. I already talked about this in my previous video. <laughs> And uh, he's a very good unit, very, very good unit. I already did an analysis of the actual banner as well as the category and the unit itself. So you guys want to go check that out. If you're a little bit unsure about whether or not you want to summon for him, then go check out that video from yesterday. Personally, I'm probably going to do like two or three multis. I'm not going to go too hard because I know a ton of amazing things are coming in the near future. So that's what I would recommend. But if you want a little bit more, you know, just analysis, a lot more details, then go check out that video from yesterday. Wait, enough promo for myself. Let's move on. On top of that, Goku and Vegeta, which is, of course, LR Vegito, and Goku Angel and Vegeta Angel, which is LR Gogeta, who can be Dokkan Awakened to LR, will show up once again in Thank You Dokkan Festival. Okay, so, same banner as they had on JP. Um, of course, under a different name, because that one was the Tanabata banner, which was a JP exclusive celebration, but it's not going to be a good banner, trust me guys. Like, <laughs> I know they, it's very tempting because both of these LRs are on it, and if you guys didn't pull them the first time, you probably really, really want them, but this banner is absolutely awful. It has a ton of featured units. The featured rate is actually lower than average, I believe it's about 3% versus a normal 5% featured pull rate. And your, your chance to pull one is basically the same as like pulling an LR on a featured LR banner, which, I mean, based on personal experience, is not very good. If you guys have gotten lucky on those legendary summon banners and pulled like LR Cell, LR Bardock, then congratulations, but the rate is not good. It's like 0.3% or something like that. So, you know, summon at your own peril, but I would not recommend it, all right? Come join the event and enjoy Dokkan Battle, I will. Okay, number one, Dokkan Thank You Celebration Special Missions. Complete all the missions to get up to 77 stone. Wow, okay. Okay, that, that that's good. Okay, so for the first part, it was about like 30 stones. So for the second part now, you can get up to 77 stones for completing the special mission. So that's dope, of course. The uh, login bonus is still going on, so we're getting up to, I believe right now it's three stones per day. And then on the 28th, we get seven stones. And then uh, from then on out, I believe it's two stones a day, or is it, I don't know, I don't really remember. But the login bonus, of course, is still going on. It's a great daily login bonus of like three stones or something like that. So we got these special missions plus the login stones for a ton of stones, that's really good. Of course, I will be doing a um, breakdown. In a separate video, I'll do a how many free to play stones from this celebration or part two of the celebration very soon, probably later today, so keep an eye out for that. Number two, Dragonstone Sale. To celebrate the si week of the coming of Cyber Week, uh, Dragonstones will be on sale during the 19th to the 10th of December, okay? It looks like we have a lot of sales here. Okay, buy five stones at the price of one Dragonstone once per day. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that up every single day. Um, we have six stones for over 40% discount, two times only, okay. 12 stones for over 50%, not bad, two times. 32 stones for over 50%, three times. Honestly, I'm probably gonna pick up every single sale up until the 91 stones. I don't think I'm gonna touch the 91 stones because it's, it's, it's a discount, but it's still not good. Honestly, it's still not that good. So, uh, of course, 91 stones for over 20%, which is always there five times. So, if you guys are a bit of whales, you know, you, you like to spend a good amount of money on the game, then you can probably pick up all those deals. But for me personally, I'm gonna pick up everything before the 91 stone packs, and that will give me like, I don't know, 100, somewhere around like 130 stones, and you add the five stones per day over the course of the whole celebration, so, you know, around 200 stones or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> I just need some quick maths. Um, but yeah, good deals, man. Uh, this, this stone sale is much better than your average stone sale in this game, so I'll take that. Number three, Dokkan Festival, of course, for the new SSJ4 Full Power Goku. I, I don't care. I'm going to call him Full Power SSJ4 Goku or SSJ4 Full Power Goku. I'm not, I'm not going to call him Super Full Power Saiyan 4. It makes no sense to me, man. Okay. Anyways, I think the banner is going to be the same as it was on JP. As you can see, we have this new GT Goku who is very solid. So that's always good. Number four, new Dokkan event to Dokkan Awaken this new guy. And I believe there are a few other Dokkan Awakenings that are coming with him, but I can't... We call them off the top of my head, so 
we're just gonna move on from there number five new story event and of course new story event means new stones or more free stones for older players we have the return of a few of a uh, few older events the gt black star db saga event Come get 80 Dragon Stones for new rank up missions. Okay, that's dope. I love that. I love that. So, basically, I believe before before this new update, it was you would get stones up to is it rank 200 or rank 300? I think it was rank 200. I don't, I don't know. Remember actually, I don't remember. But um, basically, now there's gonna be additional rewards for ranking up. So if you already ranked up past like 400 plus. You're gonna get all those stones immediately, basically, and it's gonna be up to 80 free dragon stones. So that's dope. That, that's really dope. I love that. And here we go. We're gonna move on to the uh, Thank You Dokkan Festival. Like I said, has both LRs, but really, really bad pull rates. Of course, you always have a chance to pull them. You could get lucky. Everybody could get lucky and pull the LR Gogeta, LR Vegito. But for me personally, I'm skipping it. It's just not, it's just not worth it, man. Most, most likely, you're gonna get shafted. You're gonna feel bad, and you're not gonna end up with any of these LRs. So it's up to you. And also, of course. There's really big things coming, Broly celebration, etc, etc, so uh, Christmas, so yeah, I would stay away, honestly. Uh, number 9, Dokkan Thank You Pack, up for sale, okay, um, don't buy those. Number 10, Return of the GT Baby Saga, Return of the Baby Saga Finale events, um, Majin Buu Saga Category Summon, so I, I believe the Majin Buu Saga is the... Um, the weakness for the ultimate Gohan EZA, which is also coming. Of course, that also means free stones. And another EZA on global is just always... It's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm, I, I really want us to really start catching up to JP as far as the EZAs go. So if they want to release these a little bit faster, I, would, I, I wouldn't mind. Okay, Bandai Spies out there, I would not mind if you want to release these EZAs a little bit faster and allow us to catch up to JP because I really want that EZA beers. But anyways, we're getting Gohan first, which is what I expected. Um, Extreme Z Dokkan Festival with Gohan and Cooler, which is kind of tempting because I really want that Cooler, that final Cooler dupe. I have mine with three dupes, three dupes, and I want that last dupe to make him, you know, rainbow, but I don't know, probably not worth it for me because I already have him all duped out, so yeah, probably not worth it. Um, this banner is not worth it. This banner could be worth it if you're missing Cooler and you're missing some dupes with him. Um, this pack is to get some Kai's and also some tickets for this banner, basically. So they're like summoning tickets. And I don't, I don't think they're GSSR, though. Honestly, not the worst deal because you do get to summon with the tickets. And the featured units are going to be good. But uh, it's kind of a, you know, kind of kind of a personal call for you guys. I mean, as always. But this one, I can't really recommend against if you want to pick up the pack because they're not the worst deal, in my opinion. Um, EZA, of course, uh, we have Kai Banner, so 25 stones for 5 Kais. I don't know, we just got Purunga. I don't really know if it's necessary for you guys <laughs> to to buy more Kais, but if you really need them, I guess you can you know, summon on that banner. Uh, Girl Power Summons. Okay, I've been excited about this one. So, more new units. Got new Chi Chi. I believe this is uh, Bullpen. Is that Bullpen? I don't know, just, just some new Peppy Gal units, and they're actually really solid, um, and they have like cool mechanics and things like that, cool super attack animations. I believe this one is her pulling Vegeta in to do a Gallic Gun or something like that, so I, I, I am interested in these characters. I don't know if I'm going to summon, summon for them necessarily. Um, I have to think about it. I really have to think about it before <laughs> I drop any stones into the Girl Power Banner, but I'm not saying it's a definite no, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, Super Battle Road available daily, which we already had before, so nothing new. Uh, the Seiya Man events come back. And lastly, we have the return of the Spread Love Magical Girls Fight Rebrian event. So you can get the STR Rebrian with a fairly solid uh, free to play unit, and you can use her to lead your Peppy Gals team. So, yeah, if you haven't farmed her yet, then go for it. She's actually one of the only free to play units that I have rainbowed for some reason. No, I remember. It's because because I was doing a race with Scott. He wants to do a boss uh, rush race with the Peppy Gals team. So I had to rainbow my Rubrian to get on his level. I still, you know what? I don't regret it. Whatever. It, it was fun. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I'm going to farm the Rubrian. And uh, everything else is the old stuff, right? That's for part one. So nothing new there. There you go. So like I said, um, a lot of exciting stuff. Part 2 looks really, really good, especially these 77 stones for the missions. And uh, of course, I will do a video later today for you guys with a full breakdown of the total free-to-play stones for this part of the celebration. So definitely stay tuned for that. And aside from that, let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't think so. I mean, there's an announcement for the full-power SSJ4 
uh, Dokkan Fest, and aside from that, new story event, of course, and a maintenance announcement, which will be happening literally tonight. So basically tonight around reset time, so around your regular time where the game resets, the maintenance should be over, but it could get extended, so you know, be prepared for that. But aside from that, that's all the information we have for the part two of the Dokkan Thank You Celebration. It looks really good. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are summoning for SSJ4 Goku or any of the other banners that are coming out, when are they bringing the type banners back, by the way? I really, really want to summon on that tech type banner for the LR SSJ3 Goku and LR Goku and Frieza. But aside from that, um, it looks really good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> so that's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all for me. I'm out of here. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.